Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the error message you're coming across on the Xbox app on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. They believe that we're having trouble showing the details of this perk right now. Try again a little later. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in settings. Best match, you come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select time and language. And then on the right side, you want to select language and region. Make sure that the language is correct here, as well as the region. So if you're having an issue with that, so if you go down to country or region, click the drop down and you want to select the correct country or region here, as well as the correct display language and preferred language. I mean, it probably doesn't hurt to check. But I would make sure the region is selected to the correct option in here. And then once that's done, you should be good to go. And then hopefully you wouldn't have that issue any longer. However, if you're still having a problem, you can open up the search menu and type in Xbox. On the right panel, you want to select App Settings. Go ahead and select that. And then scroll down underneath Reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then once that's done, I would suggest restarting your computer and seeing if you are still incurring this issue. However, if upon restarting your computer, if you're still having the problem, you can select the second option here, where if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. Give that a moment here. And then once that's done, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.